Hey YouTube, I want to do a quick video showing you uh, what to do when you buy a brand new hard drive, um, unformatted for your laptop or desktop. I just recently got three of these one terabyte uh, hard disks from Toshiba because they were a uh, really great, great deal and I need some more backup uh, space. But um, just be advised that when you buy a new hard drive, you can't just plug it into your Windows machine like it's a USB key and you know start dragging and dropping files onto it. There's a little bit more setup you have to do as far as just formatting goes. So I've already taken one out of the package and installed it into a Windows desktop environment and I just want to walk you through the quick steps of what do I have to do to initialize and partition and format a drive so I can start using it in Windows. Okay so now that I've booted into the machine that has the new hard drive installed, uh, if you open Windows Explorer, you'll see that it's not here in the list of drives ready to use. So you may ask yourself, okay, now what do I do if it's not even here on the list? So what you've got to do is uh, use Windows Search here, type in Computer Management, and that will open up this, uh, this window. If you click Storage, then Disk Management, you'll get to the Disk Manager section. Now the newest disk, Disk Zero, is here on the top. It's one terabyte. And I walked through these steps uh, just a minute ago just so I am uh, prepared for the video. But the first time you do it, you'll get a notification window popping up saying you need to initialize this disk. And it will ask you to pick between MBR and GPT. Uh, MBR is older, M uh, GPT is newer, and uh, GPT supports uh, partitions and drives that are larger than 2 terabytes. Uh, but do a little Googling just to understand the differences if you're curious. Um, you'll probably need to know that depending on what machine you're using. But anyway, I picked GPT and uh, that was that and here's, here's the step that I'm at. So at this point we need to partition and then format the drive. Now I just want to have one partition so I'll click new simple volume and if you're curious how to create multiple partitions go ahead and Google the differences between the options here. But for one partition only, new simple volume is fine. It'll um, walk you through a wizard saying, how big do you want it? Default is the entire drive, so that's fine. It'll ask me, you know, what drive letter I want to use. G is fine. The file system, NTFS, is, is what I want. Just leave everything um, just as suggested. And yes, I want to do a quick format. Uh, you can also Google the differences between a quick format and a long format. Um, just so you understand the differences, but a uh, quick format will take a few minutes and a full format will take you know, a couple hours depending on how big the disk is. So next, confirm, finish, and right now it's formatting my disk. Once it's done, it should now show up on Windows Explorer and be ready to use. So um, just so you're aware, if you pick GPT, uh, when you initialize and you want to switch back or you want to, oh here we go, um, so there it is, here's the new new disk ready to use, you can access it now and start uh, um, dragging and dropping things to it, so that's all set. Like I was saying a minute ago, here it is, if you want to undo what you've just done you can delete volume and yes it will erase all your data, fine, because it's empty anyways. Now it's unallocated, and if I right click here on disk zero, I can convert it to an MBR disk. So, you know, what, whatever you pick at the initialization phase isn't permanent. You can always go back, but um, that's just kind of an FYI. So, I hope this uh, helps uh, someone with a new hard drive get rolling. So, uh, thanks for watching.